Hi, fourth grade. So in this video, I'm going to walk you through how to work on your weather study guide and how to complete the um, word puzzle. So let me share my screen with you so we can get started by looking at the study guide. Well, let's read the directions first. So the directions say read both pages of the weather study guide to review information about weather, weather instruments, air pressure, fronts, clouds, precipitation, and severe weather conditions. Then use the study guide and any additional weather texts from the packets to complete the weather crossword puzzle. A word bank is provided. So first, let's take a look at the study guide. So the study guide is called Wild Weather Study Guide, and it's First has some pictures of the instruments that we've talked about and looked about, as well as what they do. So a thermometer measures the amount of heat energy in the air. A barometer measures the amount of air pressure. A rain gauge measures the amount of precipitation and an anemometer measures wind speed. Air pressure. Air pressure is the force created by the weight of the air molecules. It is constantly changing due to temperature and wind. Air pressure can help forecast weather. So high pressure is indicated by the H, and it means areas of high pressure often indicate fair weather. On a weather map, high pressure areas are shown with a capital H. Low pressure. Areas of low pressure often indicate rainy or stormy weather. On a weather map, low pressure areas are shown with a large red L. Fronts. Fronts describe the boundaries between different air masses. A cold front. A mass of cooler air is approaching a mass of warmer air. Cold fronts are shown on the map as a line of blue triangles. The blue triangles point in the direction the mass is moving. Cold fronts bring cooler temperatures. Warm front. A mass of warmer air is approaching a mass of cooler air. Warm fronts are shown on a map as a line of red semicircles. The side of the line that the semicircles are on is the direction the mass is moving. Warm fronts bring warmer temperature. Then it has this picture and it has some things that you can find to practice. Find the following on this map. A high pressure area, a cold front, a low pressure area, a warm front. It has a little review of clouds. Clouds can help forecast the weather. So you have cumulus clouds, which are fluffy white clouds with flat bottoms and they usually indicate fair weather. Stratus clouds are smooth gray clouds that block sunlight and cover the sky, often indicate light rain or drizzle. Cumulonimbus clouds are cumulus clouds that grow in height and darken on the bottom. They usually indicate thunderstorms. And cirrus clouds are feathery, wispy clouds, and they indicate fair weather, but often mean that rain or snow will fall within several hours. There is a review of different types of precipitation. So we've got rain. Rain happens when liquid droplets or ice crystals become larger and fall from the clouds. The air beneath the cloud must be above freezing for rain to fall. Snow. Snow happens when ice crystals fall from clouds. The clouds beneath, the air beneath the clouds must be below freezing for snow to fall. Sleet. As ice crystals fall from clouds, they pass through a layer of air that is above freezing, which causes them to melt. Then they pass through a layer of air below freezing, which causes them to freeze. That was ca sorry, causes them to freeze again and land as sleep. Hail, when ice crystals are tossed up and down within a cloud, they collect liquid droplets, which freeze in layers around the ice crystal. The ice crystals grow bigger until they fall from the cloud as balls of ice. Severe weather. So here are different types of severe weather. <clears throat> Thunderstorms. Moist air, wind, and warm temperatures cause air to rise. So this, this chart also, I'm sorry, this study guide also has a column when they happen most often in Virginia. So thunderstorms happen most often in spring and summer in Virginia. Hurricanes, low pressure, very moist air from the warm ocean, and winds blowing in one direction. They most happen in Virginia in summer and fall. Tornadoes, rotating thunderstorms that form when warm, moist air meets cold, dry air can produce funnel clouds of air that turn into vertical tornadoes, most likely to happen in the spring and the summer in Virginia. So now your next task is to use that study guide to complete 
a crossword puzzle. But before you do the puzzle, I would focus on studying the terms first because that will make it easier for you to complete the crossword puzzle. So I suggest that you take a little bit to make some flashcards. On the front of the flashcard, I would put the word or the term. On the back of the flashcard, I would put a picture and a definition, and I would study this for a little bit before I try the crossword puzzle. So once you've made the flashcards or once you've found a different way to study, I would then look at the crossword puzzle. So the crossword puzzle, and we're gonna do one example of a cross and one example of down together just to make sure we all know how to complete a crossword puzzle. So the first clue that they give us is for an across. So across means that it goes from left to right, like you read a book, so left to right. So up here, this right here is one across. So I'm gonna be working right here in this space, one across. So one across, the clue says, a mass of cooler air moving into an area. Hmm, I remember reading that, and if I had made the flashcards, this would probably be a little bit easier for me, but I'm gonna go back to the article, and I'm going to look at where they were talking about different masses of air. So this was fronts. I think it's a cold front. A mass of cooler air is approaching a mass of warmer air. Let me read our clue again and see if that fits. Cold front, let's see. A mass of cooler air moving into an area. Let's see if it fits. Move it over a little bit. I've got my C. O, L, D, F, R, O, N, T. So each letter gets its own box. So cold front fits. Now let's see if we can solve one down. So one down is what I'm going to highlight in red. So one down starts in the same place, but it goes down here. So let's read the clue for number one down. Fluffy and white clouds with flat bottoms. They usually indicate fair weather. Oh, I'm pretty sure I know what this is, but let me double check. Let's go back to the section where they were talking about different kinds of clouds. Clouds, fluffy white clouds with flat bottoms. Okay, so I think it's cumulus. Let's see if it fits. Cumulus, let's hope it fits. So, so the C is in the right place already. Now let's see if we can get the rest of it in the right place. So we need a U, then an L, then another U, M, U, S. And it's a little tricky to do this on here, but I think it will fit. Each letter gets its own box and it works, cumulus. So that is how you solve a crossword puzzle. Now make sure any place that you've got more than one term crossing, like for two down, if it doesn't start with R, then I might have to relook at these two terms because they have to, sometimes they share letters if they overlap. So that is how you complete the crossword puzzle and this was my suggestion for how you can study making flashcards. All right guys, well thanks for watching and I hope to see you in the next video. Bye!